By the mercy and the grace of sweet baby Jesus, I found out recently that Attaway General dropped a second season. And when I tell you the feeling that swept over me was euphoric and transcendent, I mean, I'm still tingling right now. I can feel it in the tips of my fingers. If you're thinking to yourself, hey Leon, what's Attaway General? Because you're a troll that lives under a rock. It's a YouTube drama medical show comprised of all TikTokers that got famous doing stuff like this. Hey, feel I'm in a mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the right. It is monumentally so bad, it's good, and I love it. Last year I made a video about the first season, it just so happens this time around I was streaming live on Twitch when I found out season two had dropped, so we did that live together this time around. Twitch.tv slash Leon Lush if you want to be a part of the next one, but in the meantime, grease up those cheeks with bacon fat and put in a mouth guard because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Bro, there's dead ass a season two right now, look at this. Brat TV. God, it's their featured video too. Oh my God, Chicken Girls season seven. I love Chicken Girls. Like I get it, right? Like it's geared towards 12, 15 year olds. It makes them a ton of money. It gets millions of views. This is the culture we live in. It's fine. Attaway General, however, you can't just take a bunch of TikTok stars and take the formula for a successful fucking hospital themed drama rom-com on television and pretend like it's gonna work on YouTube. Apparently it does. Eight million views, five and a half million views, 4.3 million views, 4.2 million views. Who, who is what? Who's watching this? Please God, make it stop. <sighs> and season two, Attaway General. Take one. Well, I don't, it probably took a hundred thousand takes, quite frankly, for the TikTokers to deliver anything that wasn't a fucking lip sync dance. But you know, that's just uh, where we're at in our society. Previously on Attaway General. First year TVs. This song slaps, dude. I read your book. It was amazing, and that, that was yeah, amazing. All I've ever wanted. So that these are all like season one moments uh, that I watched before I was making my video last time. And it is to be a doctor, but maybe I'm not good enough. Oh yeah, then we have the between you and Will. You should probably walk away before you get your heart broken. Yeah, Will Crush is mad in the hospital. Just want to let you know right now. I'm talking, he has like 16 girls this year alone. It's February. Just hold, guard your heart, sweetheart. I'm telling you, he's a fing, he slays. He slays. Imagine if she said that. I'm not his pet. I'm his former patient. Patient? Yeah, I have the same form of brain cancer as Molly. I'm Dr. Henry's poster child. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. This is like. <laughs> the, I will tell you this, sometimes sometimes I take for granted, I really take for granted what it means to be a convincing actor. And you watch a show like Attaway General, and you remember, hey, acting is actually a talent. <laughs> you can't just fucking put a camera on and be good at it. Shows like this remind me of that. So thank you to all of those actors out there who make me forget that I'm not there in the moment. Uh, Loki, thanks for the five. I'm drinking with you. Drink every time we cringe. Oh, damn. We playing those rules? We playing those rules. <laughs> oh, we about to drink every time we cringe. Shit about to get nasty. I'm about to get f***ed up. Okay, clearly I survived because I would never actually promote irresponsible alcohol consumption. I'm a poster child role model, baby. Just like I would never promote irresponsible viewing of adult furry films without a layer of protection. That's why I'm here to talk about today's video sponsor, ExpressVPN. Do you ever get worried when you're browsing niche furry porn <laughs> that it might be mildly embarrassing if someone found out? Sure, you use incognito mode because it makes you feel nice, but you know your internet service provider is keeping track of every single thing that you do. And rule number one of the internet is once it's out there, it's out there for good. That's why I use ExpressVPN to give me a safe and secure internet experience. I just connect to one of their almost 100 available servers using the convenient ExpressVPN VPN app and it reroutes my connection through a secure encrypted server that keeps me anonymous and stops big tech from looking over my shoulder and tracking every single move that I make. The good news is that ExpressVPN has an app for whatever device you're using. So whether you're on the go or you're in the office, you can stay secure and anonymous at all times. And the even better news is it's less than seven bucks a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. So find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by using my link expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush. That's also linked in the description. And while you do that, I'm gonna get back to downloading 4K pictures of Harry Hobbit's feet cause it rustles my jimmies. And I don't have to worry about people finding out, except for you guys, cause we're cool. But if you give a shit about your privacy, 
check out ExpressVPN using my link in the description. I appreciate you. This is absolutely out of bounds. Doctor, everything is under control. Holden is having open heart surgery tomorrow, and you've got him dancing around. You're such a snitch! <laughs> Rosie? Greetings, the pulse is ready. Her cancer's acting up. She's dehydrated. We need to get this fever down now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Six months later. That last part was sick because I didn't see that part because I was only about three or four episodes in when I made the video. Through the grapevine. Heard through the grapevine. Dixie D'Amelio is up for a Tony and a Grammy and an Emmy <clears throat> for Attaway General. Um, and then I saw this light and I heard a voice and the voice was telling me, follow this fact. Like, it was an angel or something. You sure it wasn't Dr. Henry? Hold in. <laughs> Hold in. Hold in. Hold in. <laughs> I mean, it went well. I feel great. And now you're a TV. Just feels like everything happens for you. I'll kick her. Thank you for the sub, bro. And it does. My life is like totally over. Eva, just breathe. Can't be any worse than when you. Uh, so either sprained ankle or I want to see if they have like makeup blood on her or if it's like just a sprained ankle or something. I'm always impressed by how bad the cosmetic. Uh, the cosmetics are in shows like this if you're like trying to fiend an injury or whatever or fake whatever you fiend what do you call it you're trying to sell an injury on a show my foot feels like it's detached from my body i need a doctor now yikes i guess karma does exist <laughs> she's a friend Whoa. of yours oh, lord no we just go to the same school she's a real piece of work <laughs> it's an addition to the cast since uh the first four episodes of last season since i watched look at the acid wash denim jacket though interesting choice. i want is he staff there or why are they all there with no like scrubs on aren't maybe they two, real piece of work <laughs> maybe two pieces of work you know if her foot really did fall off We have some exciting news. Dr. Henry? <laughs> oh, sorry everyone, I was just dealing with some important business. So yeah, you were fucking scrolling Instagram, you lying Ron, sow. Our major benefactors passed away last year. However, his family has established a grant in his name, which is gonna offer one of our volunteers. Hi, I'm here. Am I late? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I ran. I'm Sasha. Oh, welcome, Sasha. Nina has told me so much about you. I was just telling the rest of the crew about a new opportunity. I was just scrolling Instagram, looking at some fat pogs, and then this dumb asshole interrupted me, and I have to explain to these little kids like about hospital shit, which sucks because I have a surgery in two hours, and I was trying to rip into the closet to squeeze one out to like some Instagram broads. But uh, I would have wrote this show totally differently. I'm just saying that I would just I feel like it would have been funnier. If you let me write it. Listen, if you don't know what a pog is, can I get a pog in the chat? You got this. You all know what a pog is, right? <laughs> you cringe, you drink. No, no, no. Pog. There he is. See, the buttocker knows. Let me get that. That, that. I'm talking about this type of pog. This type of pog right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to explain it to you. All right. You didn't hear You didn't hear this shit from Uncle Leon. I will be accompanying all of you on rounds. But let me assure you, this internship is not for the faint of heart. She just check. She's peeping the pit sweat. Is that this internship? Is not for the faint of yeah, heart. she's a little damp under there. I mean, I'm feeling that right now. I'm a little damp here, but got the white on white on white, so it's not showing too bad. So good luck. Want some water? Uh, thank you. During COVID times, Jesus. You know what's funny? So like, my wife is obsessed with Grey's Anatomy, right? She's watched it since season one. It's in season like 6,000 right now. And like all of these shows, like This Is Us, Grey's Anatomy, all these like middle-aged woman, uh, stupid network television shows that like wife's like, like my wife does, they've all kind of written the show. They've written COVID into the show. I don't know why. I feel like people want to go on TV to escape the fucking reality, the nightmare that we live in right now. You'd think like, but with a medical show, like they on Grey's Anatomy, you'd think maybe they'd write in COVID onto season two, Attaway General, but nope. They're sharing water bottles. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Henry's fucking spitting in the students' mouths. It gets weird. I didn't fast forward. I'm just assuming that's what's going to happen. Any questions? Yeah, where's Kit? Kit isn't coming back this semester. Sasha, can I have a word? Bitch! 
bitch, you was late. That's how that conversation should go. But no, it's going to be some teachable moment, right? Smash your head on the bricks, bro. That's how you teach young girls that are late to <clears throat> orientations at the hospital. Why? By the way, who's the cute guy? You mean Holden? Holden. What a great name. Oh, God. You that look on your face. What look? That look when you watch Harry Styles videos on YouTube? What? I don't. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Stop. This is a totally bad idea. He's a total flirt. Nice. This is Elijah. He's getting radiation for osteosarcoma. They literally added... <laughs> they, can, we, can we just listen to those sound effects one more time, please? L listen, to these, listen to these sound effects for someone playing a PS4. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you playing Asteroids on a fucking PS4? Right? Can you can you give me something that's... Was that even... That was a PS3 controller? Are you playing Atari? Like, are you playing like an Atari emulator on your PS3? 4? What the fuck is happening right now? Give me like some Call of Duty lobby shit. You know what I'm saying? Enemy entering the AO. Something like that. You know, make it believable. Don't go to... Like, you're a, a multi-million dollar budget bullshit brat TV YouTube show with these... Popular TikTokers, God bless them, love them to death. Uh, you can afford more than a fucking a royalty-free video game <laughs> laser sound effect. Okay, just the fuck the, uh, the audacity, the audacity. I just can't. I just can't with this show, bro. Hey Elijah, this is Benny. He's a new TV. Take that, try-hard hipster. <laughs> I have to say to that part. Eva has agreed to let you observe her case. She came in with a swollen ankle, and now we have the MRI result. Does anyone know why we did an MRI and not an x-ray? Because Eva's a pussy. She said her career was over, but it's not even a sprain. Oh. Swelling can indicate a damaged ligament. X-rays are for bones, and MRIs are better for evaluating soft tissues. F***ing nailed it! Woo! Who said this girl's sister wasn't top tier, man? This girl's bringing the heat right now. Dr. Henry's like... Whoops! The process for this type of injury is normally between six to nine months. My life is over. you damn right it is. You're never gonna walk again. You can make fire TikToks in a boot, though, and get super famous online and be on a dumb shit fucking YouTube Brat TV hospital series, though. You could do that. It's crazy when you've had a conversation like that and suddenly you're on the other side of it. Are you already on the other side of it? What do you mean? Well, it seemed like you were so pretty hung up over your surgery. Is he getting hot? Is he getting... Is he getting hot here for anyone else? These kids are like... That girl's laying it on thick right now. Like, listen, my boy had open heart surgery, so there's like that caretaker part of you that wants to like make sure he's all right. Sparks are flying right now. This is like... The writing team's doing a great job. I'm feeling the heat between the two. I'm wondering where things are going to go. I'm hoping maybe a first date to the movies. Uh, possibly four to five years of courting courtship uh, and just an incredible incredible ceremony where they get married on the water there's a priest there they're ordained and then they wait until marriage to kiss and of course after you kiss you have to wait three to five more years to have sex um because it, like i said this is a christian server uh and this is how we do things so i'm hoping that this show will at least keep up with my <clears throat> standards and let's find out how does it look nina says you have to hold on to these for years Steve, one thing. No! Be gone, demons! Be gone, devil! I blow! Oh my god! Satan lives in this show! Oh, I can feel him. Oh, he's that. OMG. OMG. I thought you were trying to kiss me. I was fixing her. All right, it was a mistake. We'll get her to it. It was a little mistake. He was fixing her collar. She thought he was going in for a little, little, little tonsil hockey. Um, so she went for a cheek kiss. Innocent, I think. She's in the clear. Um, I was this close. Okay, I was this close to making uh, a Twitter video, putting this on blast and saying we can't have this being shown to our kids because this is creating a culture. This is this is rape culture at its finest right here. I can't believe I just did that. I should go. That was my first kiss. <laughs> like ever? <laughs> ever? 
he's going to be like, I'm just predicting the writing here. He's going to be like, well, if that was your first kiss, let's at least make it a good one. And I didn't even do it right. Do you like omelets? Omelets? <laughs> Why? Because Junior's makes the world's best omelets, and I was wondering if you want to split one with me. Come on. Stop it. He j <laughs> the writers are like, you know what? Milkshakes? Too cliche. Let's go the omelet route. Yeah. Nah, splitting a milkshake, that's like Riverdale, like 90s, 80s, kind of like. Let's go omelet. That's progressive. I like that. That's better. Bro, he did it! Not that be your first kiss. I know what I tell you! I fucking called it! Fuck, I hit spacebar twice! Let me write this show. Let me write this show. I will write it so much better than this because I know where you're going with it. I need, I want to throw a twist and turn into it, right? Man, I want him to go and be like, <laughs> I know that I can't let that be your fucking the worst first kiss. And then he goes, oops, shouldn't have done that. I'm a naughty boy. That would have been so much funnier. <laughs> and then they go fucking eat an omelet. Then they split a fucking Western omelet. And then they go back to the crib and they do Bible study and go to bed in separate rooms. Because like I said, Christian server. I gotta be honest with you guys. I came into this thinking to myself, let's just get through it. Season two, they renewed it for a second season. Can't believe it. Let's just get through it to see what it's all about. I'm committed. I'm thinking once a week, we hop on stream, whether it's a Monday, and we we watch the whole season together. I appreciate you guys. Listen, I'd love if you stop by a stream sometime. The community over there is killing it. We laugh at dumb shit. We play games, and I'd love you to be a part of it. I also have a channel called Lush Live where I upload videos just like this if you'd like to see more. Until next time, keep hip thrusting that motherfucking like button and keep your willies wet. Peace.